You're Where so you? disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Rough Transit Podcast. Uh, we got some shit to talk about today. Clearly, yes. we are in our uh, attire. Halloween Chuck, attire. who are you? Huh? <laughs> who are you? Him. Him. <laughs> 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 He's an Egyptian god. He's Shut Egyptian up, and a god. Shut up, peasant. <laughs> Sorry. Hey. It's Cleopatra. You, hey, hey, it's I, I, I don't want you talking. I don't want you talking. You built our pyramids. We picked out a lot of them. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> you built our pyramid. That's all I want you to know. From Egypt, we sent people to Mexico. We saw you Mexicans building yeah. shit, and we were like, yeah. we need better. We need, a, we need better. And on that note, what are you, Tino? I'm a Mexican. Mexican. <laughs> He's a cholo. He literally is. <laughs> hey, this is not a racist joke. He literally is Mexican. I literally am Mexican, so it's okay. Yeah, and the Mexicans did build their own pyramids. Like I did. Went, did. No, actually, Chinese I went to see it. Like When I went to see it, bro they fucking built that shit like, mm-hmm. it's not not that it's not that hard but it's it's not impossible mm-hmm. like their stones are about this big okay yeah, like okay. i couldn't lift one of them bitches up yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but you're also taller than the average mexican so. oh i could pick two of those stones well okay. mexicans <laughs> yeah. nowadays are mixed with other blood so. oh okay. yeah well that, that area actually anymore. has a lot of native native oh, okay oh, yeah. yucatan has a lot of has a whole section of them they literally live in houses with no walls yeah. Like it's just like a little. You know what I find funny? Post. Talking about Central America, the first time that I went to Nicaragua, like I was like, You're, damn. To where? To Nicaragua. Oof. Be careful when you say that. <laughs> All right, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, <Scream. laughs> the first time I went, um, it was, I mean, I'm short, I'm 5'2, and it was so weird to see people my size. I'm like, I really am one of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, what, what are you? What are you today? Dude, I'm fucking fat Thor. Nice. Like the costume's great. I'm also depressed. It's all good, man. It's perfect. It works. There. It works together. <laughs> That's sad. Yeah, but we, I'm, o- I'm okay. No, I'm not build okay. my pyramid. <laughs> 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 build my pyramid, bitch. Yep. So on the Halloween stuff, um, let's talk scary reptiles. Yes. What do you think is a scary reptile? None. I knew it. I yep. fucking knew it. You can't talk to this guy. What about the anything. fuck is scary about a reptile? Which one? Which one? Go ahead. Only time that is scary if it's in, if you're in the water and there's a crocodile and the water's murky. Oof. Yeah. Okay. That's my heart's scary. in my ass. But the animal's not scary itself. <laughs> the situation is. Okay. Yeah, if yeah, I see yeah. the crocodile, it's not scary. What, okay. Yeah. What do you think are the reptiles that most people think are scary? All of them. Okay, mm, but specific. I think most Obama. Snakes. Most Obama snakes. A reptilian. I remember Fucking when he, Justin no, when he first eyes. when he first went for president, people uh-huh. started saying he was a reptile. Oh my! He was a lizard God. person. Yeah, oh, that's why I said it. That was the joke. Some people are lizard people. It's true. Um, I don't want to. Fifty percent of all people are lizard people. Oh, are we? Yeah. Are we? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, we have that many. Um, you know what's funny? So uh, I think I think snakes are number one, even more probably than crocodilians and like yeah. everything else, just because for for some reason everybody likes to think that snakes are venomous or most of them are venomous or yeah. whatever. I've had a couple of people come into the store and be like, "Hey, can I hold this?" And I'm like, "Yeah, sure, it's a ball python." Yeah. Uh, and they're holding it. It's like, is it venomous? And I'm like, "Dude, are you, you are you good? A bitch. <laughs> are you good, bro?" <laughs> there was uh, there was one time I was in um, I was in high school. And uh, our you teacher had gotten school? us. I know it's crazy, and I finished. I think we're like in middle uh, school, not like a Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> I repeat, he can say that I can because say this. he is. I am Mexican, I, bro. I think um, we're still in middle school. No. <laughs> um, and our teacher had got us donuts, and one of the donuts was oh, yeah? jelly filled. That's what we yeah, call yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. One of them was jelly filled. <laughs> hey, congrats! <laughs> no, not puppy. <laughs> congrats! You got the donut, uh, dude. And, uh, Did you fill it up? <laughs> it was already filled. Hey, yo, dude. <laughs> that bitch was uh, around. <laughs> so it's Kelly filled, and someone's it looking at me. It was a public school, right? Public no, school. No, my God. <laughs> someone's looking at me, and they're like, oh, is it, uh, is it strawberry? I'm thinking in my head, is this strawberry or raspberry? Because I prefer strawberry oh, or raspberry. Period. <laughs> oh, period. Oh, God. <laughs> and uh, and uh, the other, my, my classmate, I guess, they were saying, oh, are you allergic to raspberry? After I'd already taken a bite out of it. I'm like, why would I take that risk? Yeah, yeah. Why would I be like, oh, I, I don't know what it is. Let me just try it. You know, same thing here? with the ball python. Oh. Oh, like, I was like, I don't even know how the fuck yeah, we yeah. got here. <laughs> with the ball python. This motherfucker's a cop. <laughs> 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 Talking about donuts out of nowhere. A cop ass People bitch. are like, oh, is it venomous? Like, why Why would you hold it if you didn't know? Yeah. yeah. Why are you like, oh, that's fine, I guess. That's, that's always a response. It's like, is, is that poisonous? poisonous? Is, that, is that poisonous, that snake? Some Mexican black king snake? Yes. Bro. Yes. Super poisonous. The first two words were... Mexican black tar heroin. Jeebus. We're off the rails. Right? <laughs> yeah, I know. It was happening, dude. We got our costumes on and we're feeling some kind of way. I'm a you king. literally feel like a god. I am. All right. I'm him. Okay. Was okay, was there a point ever that you were scared of of reptiles? No. Never. No. Hmm. Yes. Cockroaches any day. Cockroaches yeah. could go burn in hell. Hmm. Reptiles, no, nothing else. 
Yeah. Cockroaches, tarantulas, I was iffy about, but hmm. venomous, I'm not scared about. I just don't fuck with them. Yeah. Like wild ones, I like fuck with a little bit, but even captive, I don't want any. Hmm. I work with them. I work with them at, at, like where I work at, but mm-hmm. I don't want none, dude. Yeah. I don't for so, for me, it, not that I'm scared of it, but certain animals have a little bit more respect for me. Uh, emerald tree boas, that's one of them. Where I'm like, all right, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do the same things that I would do with the green tree python right now. Why not? Um, just because if I get Pussy. tagged by the ETB, Pussy. dude, Pussy. Look, look at this. You see this wrist? You see how thin it is? <laughs> it sliced me open. I'll end up like Jesus 13 Christ. reasons why. Well, you see that little thin wrist? <laughs> yes. You could shove it in your ass. Not even. Uh, I use them to fill my pyramids. You're a fucking <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but yeah, I, you have a whip. that's one and a, a croc monitors. That's another. I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll be a little bit more careful this time. Yeah, but that's not scary. No, it's not. It's what I'm saying. It's not. I'm not scared of the animal. It's just a little bit more Charles respect. Was. I'm more conscious about you what I'm doing. You look like you're scared of everything, dude. I am, dude. Yeah, I'm fucking you. five foot two. I'm scared of the world, dude. The world is so big to yeah. me. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. world is huge. Yeah. It it's is. not a tub. There, one of there our, you go. I live in a tub. One of our coworkers, she asked. She was like, um, "Oh, are there any animals in the shop that you guys are uneasy with? Like uh-huh. you guys aren't completely comfortable working with?" And I'm like, "Ball pythons." No. No, but like, because she said boas. And like oh. the small boas, because she's like they're too, and I, I don't know, I don't get the reason, but I was like, annoying. What? Yeah. But I don't, I actually don't like handling. I mean, you guys know I don't like handling the colubers because they're just the whole time. Yeah, they're annoying. They, they don't, they're shit. not scary. They're just annoying. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, the I, babies, the big ones yeah. are fine oh. usually. Yeah, yeah, I used to be, I definitely used to be scared of frogs. Um, no, still scared of frogs to this <laughs> day. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> um, I used to be scared of snakes. Uh, I mean, I wasn't always a reptile person. And then it went from like scared to just like a respect thing, mm-hmm. and then now like I'm okay. It depends. Like there are definitely things that I don't want to handle more than anything because I just don't like getting bit. Mm-hmm. I don't like getting bit. I used to get bit by my dad's birds when I was a kid, and I think by that, your dad. Yeah, my dad. <laughs> His uh, bird. I'm not gonna tell you where. Um, <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, 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 Show yeah. me on this doll. <laughs> oh my god. Um, but yeah, so I, the birds used to bite me, and I think because of that, I mean, that's a hefty bite, too. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't like to get bit. What are you laughing at, bro? I'm out hefty. here fucking therapy, depressed, fat Thor, <laughs> and you're just fucking being a god over there. You don't think I've, I'm also a god. I just realized this. I'm the only one that's not a god, dude. All Mexicans you godless god. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, nah, you believe in chalk. Do you know who chalk is? No, I don't you're know. You're not chalk Mexican. Is. What's fucking chalk? No. Chalk. Cock? Chalk. Cock? Chalk. 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 He's a god. He's a Mexican god. Oh. Whoa. He lives in the cenotes. Like, can't you? Mm-hmm. And people throw people's heads to him. Really? Yeah. And the cenotes, when you swim, you can find skulls and shit. Oh, Is it? oh yeah. that's cool. Yeah. Hmm. The, the jaguars yeah. would hide. Well, I'm chalk. not I'm not a, a traditional Mexican. I'm the uh, Europeanized Mexican, clearly. Colonized? Colonized Mexican. Colonized Mexican. Crusaded Mexican. Crusaded. Damn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's sad. Constantino Conquistador. Constantly conquistador. I would, I would say, Constantly crusaded. Constantly crusaded. I would <laughs> say you're probably one of our Mexicans that built our pyramids, but I killed them all. Oh, makes sense. Yeah, you <laughs> buried God. them in the pyramid. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they actually did that. What? They buried their workers and, in like, wives pyramid. and family members Fire. in the pyramids while they were alive. What? Yeah. Fire. <laughs> they, like, locked Why? them in there. Dude, I don't know. Stupid religion. No. No. Crazy. The theory Crazy. actually goes they didn't know they were alive. No, it's comas and stuff. The family? Yeah. yeah, it's comas and stuff. No, no, no. no. They stuck it's the disease. family members and slaves because in there disease. alive. Because of disease. Have you ever heard of, uh, I forgot where it was, when they would put uh, bells oh. on the Dude, coffins? Dude, that was in scenario. Europe yeah, yeah, yeah. thousands was a, of years yeah, yeah, later. Yeah, that's not even, but it was the, it's the same scenario. No, yeah. they yes, weren't like, is. oh, I wonder if they're dead. The whole family, all their slaves? No, yes. they weren't all dead. It was a disease. No. Yes, the theory, it there was a disease there. They all got I buried. That. Yeah, what, they what all got buried. About? The the bell one wasn't in Egypt. Okay. That was because but of the black plague. E- yeah. In Egypt there was a disease and people got buried alive and that's why you see scratches on the oh. thing. They didn't know they were alive. Mucho they were sick. Interest. If you bury me maybe bro, for the the fa- like the pharaohs, the ones that like they weren't about sure, but like the rest things. of the family, no. I'm right here. No way they were all Bro, we don't die. I'm right here. Oh, you make sense right here. Talking about scary things. Can you imagine being buried alive? Bro, 
Let's Why are you so, you're too depressed? I don't like it. <laughs> Stop it with this fat shit. <laughs> All Come the on. snakes when they're in tubs, buried alive. <laughs> wow, got me. I got, got it right yeah. now. That was you nice. know what? No, right, move, move on. Move on. We, we, we ain't saying shit right now. Yeah, I, I don't know, dude. We just got <laughs> really weird. All right, so we you guys just fucking. Yeah, we watched. Um, I was watching uh, Adam Wickens. Uh, I think most recent video where about he was talking about like top five stupidest reptile laws. Um, it was interesting. I, I don't know. It, it talked a lot about Canada, which I don't really give a shit about, but because <laughs> I'm in the U S but like, wow. it, like I couldn't relate. I'm like, I don't know Canada's laws. I don't know the Canada thing, um, but he did say Canada one right now. One, two, three, go. Some, isn't he like pretty or some shit? I don't fucking know. I, I just know. wanted to see if anybody knows. <laughs> I think it's Trudeau. <laughs> Because nobody gives a Justin fuck about y'all. Y'all don't fight. I don't y'all think pussy. they have a... Would you say a president? I don't know what they have. A they prime minister, have, yeah. I think. A prime minister, pussy as Justin fuck. Justin Trudeau. Yeah. Um, pussy as fuck. But yeah, one of, the, one of the things that he was talking about was about Fiji Island iguanas uh-huh. and about rhino iguanas, which okay. are interesting. Um, because what was his point? For the what one, was his stupid ass point? For the one, uh, Fiji Island iguanas can be in Canada. You can't, they're legal there, but they're not legal in the United States. You can't have them here. Uh, rhino iguanas are legal in the United States. They're not legal in Canada. Mm-hmm. He can't. Ha- Adam Wickens cannot have a rhino iguana. One of the things that he was having beef with was he understands laws uh, to protect uh, endangered species and uh, wild populations. But one of the things he was saying, he's like, if we have captive-born rhino iguanas and captive-born Fiji iguanas, Here we go with why can't you point. just cross the like with proper permits and doing it appropriately? Why isn't there a way to just have babies? For either one, if they're captive born, they're not affecting native populations. Why not? What's stopping it? All right, Chuck, they do it for so many other species. Off colored comment. What? Your off colored comment. You what got does that something mean? to say? What does that You're mean? Yeah. Off color? That sounds racist, dude. Well, it's like a, I'm not with the comment. shits right now. Oh my god. I'm not with the shits right now. It's not with the racist shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Point is, point is, no, fuck them. What the I fuck is it. the point? What the fuck is the point of him having shit in captivity and thinking he has the right to have whatever the fuck he wants? Even if it's appropriately, there are hard reasons for it. Whatever the reasons, the reasons. But what are, are the reasons? Huh? What are the reasons? What are the reasons for him having it? It doesn't help the animal at all. It just fucking doesn't. No, he just wants an animal law? in a box. He just wants an animal in a box. Okay. People that have those just animals. Just because the motives usually, aren't justified does not mean that the law itself is justified. Yes, it is. Why is it justified? Yes, it is. That's what we're asking. Bro, it's not your right to have something in a box, especially if it's in danger. That's endangered. not the a question. A lot of those animals. A lot of those animals are within conservation groups. Right. Fiji Islands iguana. Right. For. For Fiji, the most part. Fiji is protected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the most part, the animal itself. Hispaniola is protected. The, the animal itself. The animal itself. I'm talking about within captive setting. Now, sometimes they get off of the, the organizations that have them, which Fiji hasn't much, where the iguana has. But, like, I don't know. It just, people are bitching over the, the, the dumbest shit. Just because you can't have something in a box doesn't mean that law is stupid. There are laws for a fucking reason, and it helps the animal. But the question is Animals in reason? captivity. Animals in captivity. I think, I think what he's saying is that, like, why can we have a Fiji and not a rhino? Is that what you're trying to say? No, it's more like he's saying, like, why, why is that law there? Um, why are there laws about crossing borders? Bro, if you're, if you're questioning it, if you're questioning it do some fucking research. Maybe you'll find something. Instead well, of just I, bitching. I, I'm, I'm assuming Instead he of did fucking bitching. some research. Instead of fucking bitching. I don't know, dude. Instead of fucking bitching, reach out to somebody and find out what's the reason. So it's you think usually that there a fucking should reason. be those kinds of laws? Yeah. I mean, it's a captive bred animal. Huh? It's a captive bird. It doesn't animal. matter. It doesn't matter. Why not? It, does, it doesn't help the animals in the wild as it is. So what's the point of moving them around? No, it's not about what's the point. Why is the law banning it? So, Why is the law so like for example, moving something from Canada to the United States, the problem between that is there's two different fucking governments and now you have to track an animal going from one government to the other. Right. You know how much more work that is for somebody that is supposed to be working for conservation to track that shit? Mm-hmm. It's not their job to track that shit in a whole other country right. and pass all that information. It's too much fucking Why, work. They, they so track, no. like, Why would shit? they track captive yeah. born stock because you're when you leave a state a fucking state not a country uh-huh. there are animals you cannot cross lines for because of the same reason right yeah imagine you, you an, mentioned those too imagine a whole fucking country they have to track that shit they have to i mean they're well, fishing game takes- animals like a fiji one are you fucking stupid bro no but why what do you mean it's why? Captive it's captive-born. It's not endanger- affecting It's still an endangered animal. It is a bloodline. It's not an endangered animal. It's it, a captive-born animal. It is still an endangered animal. The species still- is endangered. The Bro. animal is not endangered. Bro, 
CITES is all I have to say. There are That's animals, an interesting thing. Uh, an there's interesting animals point. between that that have certain rules to own. Right. And once those animals are in captivity, you still have to track so that you know where those bloodlines are. If you take something from the wild, you put it into captivity and you lose it, you yeah. can never do anything with it. Right. Because you lose it and people like this fucker end up inbreeding shit. Mm -hmm. I didn't do anything. You I'm just ball out. python. There's but that's not the point. It is the point. It's not the point because you're not taking point. animals from the wild. It doesn't matter. It's a bloodline of an animal that is endangered in the right, wild. The thing. Those two things, I'll you always try to separate those two things. They always go together because the animals yeah. belong in the wild. You but they're never going them. back to the wild. It doesn't the matter. The captive horn stock will never matter. affect the native it doesn't populations. Matter. It doesn't matter. Why doesn't and yes, it, matter? it can. It doesn't matter. And yes, it can. How? And yes, it can. Certain zoos are able to do that. So why fuck it's up a bloodline? It's not a zoo. It is mm -hmm. private keeping. And that shit can be taken out of the private keeping back to a zoo and put back into the wild. For example, what we do with Orinoco crocodiles. Thank you very much. But you don't see those things, so you're just talking out of opinion. Point is... No, but that's no. what I was asking. What? You're, you're, you're saying all the stuff. I was, that's what I was asking. I'm like, why... Does it matter? Why do captive-born populations Be, because exactly have that. such stipulations? At least that's his point. I don't really care. Have such stipulations um, when it doesn't affect native populations? You're not saying at the for not endangered at the animals. Not at the moment. Yeah, it's an endangered animal. I don't this give a fuck thing. if you want. So it could be. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, if yeah. there's an endangered animal and you want that shit, you're bitching about having it in a box. Fuck you. You're a piece of shit. You just you just care about the animal in a box. Right, but there is no point to that the motivation. Selfish shit. That's the motivation. That's like, it's shit. not caused to it's change the law, but it, yeah. it's still not justifying okay. the law. It's like, why right. is yes, this law here? Yes, it is. Let's yes, say it is. We why, why the law should allow anybody to put whatever the fuck they want in that's the box? That's not the point of the law. Wait, wait, hold on, it's hold not on, like, hey, oh, we can change the law so that people can keep it. It's like, why is this law here? Why not? Because it doesn't make sense. How? I, I Go ahead. Oh, I just I, I keep saying it. Captive born populations okay. do not affect native they do, populations. But they do. They can. Not native within the country. They're not scared of the animal getting out and fucking the environment. That's not. No, the no, thing. no, no, no. I'm saying about the, uh, like, the wild population of the animal. Yeah. Okay, cool. It can though, especially with animals okay, like that. So. Like, this, this is the thing. They, so, they breed Fiji's in <laughs> Europe. Yosh. They breed Fiji's in Europe. Yes. And those somebody. animals are passed around and they can come back to the wild. If you bring them to Canada or to this motherfucker who just wants it in a box, he's going to breed it with a female. Then what? He's going to make a couple bucks. He's going to inbreed it. That bloodline is fucked. Okay. But he there can do no that. Point. He There's can no do that. He has. You can have a Fiji Island iguana in Canada. Yes. You can have a rhino yes. iguana and inbreed it the fuck out if yes. you want. Yes. You can do that. And that was a mistake. No matter how endangered that was a it mistake. is. That was a mistake. No matter that was how a mistake. endangered That was a mistake it is. made years ago. Those animals are already here. The laws passed way too fucking late to protect those animals. Those animals have been here. Those animals have been there. Now that there's research and people doing uh, studies on these animals, those laws are becoming harder and harder because of it. Because everybody knows once you bring something into the pet trade, it gets fucked up. And that bloodline ends up being fucked up because people want to breed for morphs and people want to make money, so they end up inbreeding. But that's what conservation is for. If it's already in private keeping, you're never going to use those animals again for conservation. Exactly. So that's why the law is there to not put it into the private keeping. Well, because private keeping is garbage. It's for already captive born. It doesn't affect native populations. Bro, captive born or, or, within the U.S., it, captive born within the U.S., what you're trying to do is start a whole other population within the trade yes. in Canada of the animal. It doesn't help the animal. doesn't help anything. doesn't matter. The only thing that it does is you having an animal in a cage. Fuck you. You're, you're just, talking about the motivations, Chuck. You're not huh? saying about why. That literally You're is, saying their motivations is, aren't justified, but it doesn't it. matter. That literally is it. Why would a law not be there and allow people to bring something from one government to another, not just state to state, country to country, track that shit down as it happens, okay. because you have to. Once you send something out of, out of state, for example, whatever animal it is, uh, other than the, the common shit, you have to do paperwork, especially with animals with anxieties, and you have to state where it goes. So That paperwork goes right. into a folder. It gets tracked whether you yes. like it or not, whether you know it or not. That can be done that also, with that Fiji Island. Also, that also, the also, listen, it's more work for those people. They don't have to allow that. That is not a right. Okay, so... That is not a right. So That's not the point. What do you, you keep mean? going back to intentions and motivations? It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Literally, literally, it does. Literally, it does. So, okay. I don't have to pass a law to allow you to do something just because you want to. I could just no, say no. That's fuck right. That. That's not what he's saying. Huh? He's saying, saying there's up. no justification for this law. Period. Doesn't matter what I care about it. Literally. He's saying why does that matter? Do your fucking research and you'll find it. That's it. <laughs> There has to be a reason because okay. laws don't pass for just what any reason. Saying? Am for, I good? Yeah, you're good. No, fuck you. I'm for example, <laughs> I'm done. We're moving on. <laughs> all right. So as I was trying to say for the past five minutes, all right, take the CITES part out of it. Take the CITES. It's not an indicative. 
the the Fiji iguana and the rhino iguana, those are bad examples. Okay. All right, because those things are protected. And I understand why CITES is there. I understand why you're not going to want all kinds of animals to go wherever because you do have to track it. All right, and that's because if, if the populations decline, then we're able to see, okay, well, this is where these, these people have these kinds Ooh. of things and stuff like that. Now, take the CITES part out of it real quick. Let's say if they were, I think a better example, let's say they were allowed ball pythons but not common boa constrictors. Okay. Okay, well, what that? But should they maybe, have those kinds of maybe yes, that would be absolutely. like justification for well, a law, I, though? Like, it's because it, they're in danger. They're absolutely. They're yeah, that's the main reason. But yes. Maybe they don't care about balls and balls because they're like, oh, There those, are places you can't have fine. ferrets. Okay. Those laws should be there. There are reasons for it. Mm-hmm. There are reasons for it. Right now, for example, you, motherfucker. What I do? Whenever you get emails and shit, because we've talked about this shit, whenever yeah. you get emails and shit, and they're asking you for pictures of specific animals, multiple people at a time, do you do it? For this company? I mean, if it's under $500, it's against policy. Why? It's too much work, ain't it? And we could go back on a podcast and find it. Yeah, of course. I mean, it is. It's, it doesn't make sense financially. Mm-hmm. And what do the people want? The people want pictures. Mm-hmm. Does that mean he has to take pictures for them? No. No, it's too much work for him. He doesn't fucking... No. Right. Same thing with that. If you're trying to pass an animal from country to country, you have to do all this paperwork. They don't have to do that paperwork for you just because you want it in a cage. Yeah, but there's people that have jobs to do those kinds of things. That's how customs works. Yes, there's, works. they also have millions of other things to do in their job, not no, only there, pass there, animals there's, around. There's, there's, I mean, I was in the industry. I understand how mm-hmm. customs societies works. I mean, there's people that they're, that's their literal job. Yes, but there's other things they the should animals. do other than just that. Yeah, but that's what their job is, Chuck. There's other things other than that. They're just not yeah, sitting but down. my job is to clean Your tubs. job is to be on a computer and do shit, too. To certain people, you send photos and shit. Okay, but that's... Uh, yeah, that's pho- part of your job, too. Yeah. Now, there's a policy no, that you no, no, get... No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Photos is not my job. That's never been my yeah, job. Yeah, yeah, but you're... My job you're is within... to build a website. But yeah, yeah, these yeah. people's job is quite literally to track the, 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 the things that are going on with CITES. That's Absolutely. And, but those things are counted and controlled for a fucking reason. If we start allowing people to just send shit all over the fucking yeah. place, now they have to no, hire I, more people to it. track that no, shit. No, no, no. no I, fuck all I of get, you. I get what you're trying to say, but I think your justification for it is completely wrong. The justification it, it, it of, it oh, damn, these people, they have jobs. It's like, yeah, they have jobs. You know, but if you're if we're talking about yeah, but they need to track it because the thing is is that if population decline, then we could be like this person, that person, this person has it, and then we could figure something out to help the population. I get it, but to just say yo, these people have jobs, yeah, they got jobs. That's their literal job. They're tracking things. You think that that is not their only thing for their job? That's the thing. Like we're just assuming there's somebody sitting down that has to track shit twenty four seven at all times. That's not the only they thing they do. That is not their. That no, abs- and that is one. But that's what that is probably is there one. For, for and that, that is and that is probably one, which actually it is, because now I'm thinking of a specific species, which is the Nile. We can't send them outside of Florida. Okay. Shit like that. That is for a fucking reason. Why? Because they don't. Because some guy doesn't is, want to do more paperwork. Bro, it is. What the fuck? Sending an animal from the United States to Canada. Who does sure. that help? Only the person that's having it. Fuck them. Fuck them. Just because you just want an animal in a case. Well, so just, just because, because you don't want to do more, another piece of paper. They pay yes. for we're that. Gonna, yes. We're going to take them off. Yes, yes, no, of course, absolutely. I don't, I don't think the absolutely. government would want that because they're yeah. getting money out of it. You got to pay for that. You got to pay customs and shit. Absolutely. But that doesn't go back to the person that's actually tracking this shit. That is not their literal fucking job. Not the only thing they do. Most of these things are for animals, and it includes animals in the wild. That money should go to those things, not bitches wanting shit in the cages. That's the thing. It doesn't help anything. You just want an animal in a cage and you're bitching that you can't put so it in a cage why because somebody doesn't want to do paperwork. It's only a piece of paper. It's only an animal in a cage. Wait, what was like, his what does that, help? That, that he was saying that like, why can we have this and why can we have that? What was the actual reason? Um, it, it, his, his confusion was the fact that, like I said, the captive born stock doesn't affect native populations. I think he might have assumed that that's the reason for the law. That lawmakers don't know how no. reptiles and countries work and they're like, oh, this animal's protected. Let's not allow it to cross can, any kind of countries. But rather than thinking like, bro, oh, these are captive. Bro, born there are animals. There are can. animals like fuck countries and fuck states. There are animals that don't come out of certain organizations because of that. Mm. Now, this is not something because of countries or states or so anything. Why like do you that. think, for example, like uh, with Chelonians, turtle, uh, the radiated tortoises and the Indian spotted turtles? Why do you think that we're not allowed? to ship them out of Florida, other than the fact that it's an endangered species, so those kinds of things can only stay in Florida. I mean, but that's, like, one, that's the first one. Yeah. And then how can you tell people are not doing scummy shit on the no, side? I, I know, I, I know. I actually know somebody who tried to get a company to ship uh, Indian spotted turtles. Exactly. So with you know, exactly. You, bro, you don't, you don't have a right to have it. I know, you don't I know, have a but right. what's the reason, other than the right, other than the right to have it, what's the reason that, that we can't, like, conservation-wise, all right, bear with me, 
why can't we ship an Indian spotted turtle to North Carolina? Like what? Like what's up? We got a plethora of them here. If you bring an animal okay. from Madagascar, for example, uh-huh. it lands in Florida. Okay. They don't get caught. Okay. From Florida to North Carolina, they get caught. Okay. They came from Florida. They okay. get away with it. Okay, no, no, but that's not what I'm asking. I'm asking about an animal that's in that's bred in, in numbers. Like You can't prove that. That Indian spotted turtles aren't getting bred in numbers in Florida? Well, you can prove that part, okay. but you can't prove it paper-wise. You can breed them and also bring some from the wild, mix them in, and say, this is captive bred, a.k.a. underground reptiles, does shit like that all the time. Understood, but... It's, it's scummy shit. But, it's not your right to have something in captivity, especially if the people, scummy shit mixed in with that. I mean, can you bring Fiji Island iguanas in? No. 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 Okay, not so the then at, are people breeding them a lot? No. In Canada, yeah. Not that. Not, I mean, not in crazy. Europe, a lot. Not crazy. In in Europe, Europe is the one. Okay, yeah. so then you see, but then now with the rhino iguana, a lot of people breed rhino iguanas now. In the U.S., yeah, not in the Canada. US. So yeah. then why can't they get our captive bred rhino iguanas? It's, That's the question. That I mean, is the question. There, That's the, what he I don't know. I haven't can done research bring, on it. Can we bring rhinos into the country? Absolutely not. Not, not from there. Hispaniola. So then all of them yeah. are... Are, are captive bred quote unquote because illegally you still can that's okay. the thing like if you pull yeah, it off illegally I think what you're trying to say is that if you start putting that trade there then the scummy shit gets mixed yeah. in you can't tell them apart yes that could but be a reason that's me flawed. talking without research like I'm yeah. just telling you all reasons you know what's interesting though so with shouldn't. Florida with Florida you can't have you can't if you want to purchase an Indian spotted turtle let's say it has to be within Florida but mm-hmm. anyone in any other state can just send it to you as a gift uh huh Mm-hmm. You can't receive payment for it. You're just like, yep. oh, I have a buddy down in Florida. I'm going to send it to him. Yep. That's it. Yep. The paperwork still gets done. The animals are tracked. But why? Differently. It's just about money. And mm-hmm. it makes sense because they don't want to create a market doing this stuff. But then it's not a point about getting the paperwork through. Yeah. But it's not the, a point of giving some guy an extra piece of yeah, work Yeah, but do. now there's somebody... That's another thing with genetics then. So if you are able to gift it to someone and not make money out of it, you're not breeding to just sell like crazy and make money because then that's where inbreeding comes in because you want to make as much money as possible. Mm -hmm. You fuck up the genetics. If you're just bred once and you give it to uh, as a gift to someone, Mm -hmm. you're not doing it with the purpose of selling. So your intentions are hopefully way better and good because you can't just start Mm -hmm. breeding and gifting them to a whole bunch of people because you'll get caught in the process because you're making money. Yeah, 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 exactly. That shit happens too. Like I know people... So what if I just start breeding rhino iguanas? What if you, you have rhino (laughs) iguanas? You just start breeding rhino iguanas and you decide, hey, Adam Wickens, here's my rhino iguana for free. You can't. I mean, you can't because... You can't can't. because that's within state. The the, the way it works with the US is because it's within. That's country. Yeah, but but that's country country to country. That's a whole different paperwork. But wouldn't that kill it? What do you mean? Like, that would kill any problem that people have or any law, like the justification for the law. Yeah, but you know law. what? They, 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 if I you mean, just gave them. I guess you no, can, you can't. You can Bro, doctor it, the documents and stuff like that, but you, you have to get, like, vet certificates. You have to get, like, breeder information no, from those animals. No, but I'm saying, should. like, I'm saying it defeats the purpose of the law saying you can't put rhino guanas from U.S. into Canada. Okay. What? Because the point is for money. You, you don't want to create a market doing okay. this shit. I mean, so if I, but if you're that's, just a, that's like, an oh, assumption. Just away. That's just an assumption. There could be a million reasons why not. But that's why he's asking. He, he thinks the law is stupid. Maybe he didn't do the research. Maybe he did. I don't Who think knows? so. I don't think so. He doesn't he know why the law is there. Exactly. So I feel like if you're going to make a point like that and not do your own research, then that's your own fucking fault. You're just talking to talk. I mean, do, does every law, like, if, if you look up a law, they're like, oh, these are the reasons we did the law. No. Well, you can if you look deep enough. Why are iguanas illegal now? Great because iguanas? they're scary. Because Karen's complained. <laughs> because the bromeliads. Because the bromeliads. Y'all know, y'all know why the, the fuck. Because they don't take y'all, 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 yeah, y'all know why the fuck. <laughs> that has a reason. Yeah. Yeah. Like, laws don't pass just because. Why can't you drink and drive? Because motherfuckers died out there, dude. You feel me? Like, there are but the, reasons for a law. Okay. A law doesn't just happen just because. Because most of the time, we don't even think of certain laws it's just like some shit goes down and it's like oh shit we should stop that shit i don't know then you're 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 talking about dangerous territory you're saying oh a law exists i should just believe that it's justified because i don't know i'm saying i'm I'm saying this motherfucker should have done some research and pointed those things out instead of making a video and just bitching about no but you you're saying you can call you can call people you can ask questions like you're allowed But you think the law is justified just being there you haven't given any justification i'm not enough because i haven't done the research but i promise you there there has to be something there's why do you believe that because it always is that's like me saying oh bro the government has to check your emails it makes sense that they have to check they have to check your emails bro like it makes sense. They have to check it. Like, 
What are you that saying? Not You're not same. saying shit. That's not the same. That's not the same How at all. How is that not the same? It is not the same at all. Why isn't the Komodo dragon in the pr- uh, private sector? Go ahead. They're protected. That's one. They, are, they really shouldn't be pets that people should keep. That's two. Three, you'd create a dangerous market of importing Komodo dragons. That makes sense. But if Komodo dragons were already in the pet trade, captive born, there would be no reason to be like, actually, only this country should have it. No other country should do it. That's exactly what if happens with Komodos. If it's within the country. It's exactly what happens with Komodos. <laughs> in what sense? What do you mean? <coughs> what do you mean? They're not in the private sector. They're they not- breed them. They breed them. They're bred in captivity all the fucking time. Okay. But they're not in the private sector. They're not like for people as pets. There's certain organizations that can have them. Because yeah, of, because but because of those same reasons, because of it's an endangered animal, because people yeah, will try and the ones that are breeding are the ones in the zoos. You get me? And those are protected by those zoo laws, so they can't even even if they were what zoo laws? I mean, they they're the same laws. The organizations. Nope. They're the yeah, same laws. Yeah, but they're they're only allowed to stay within the organizations. That's not true. That's their policies. That's not true. I mean, whether it. Whether they're saying that zoo is going to sell Komodo dragons to the private sector, they can. Well, okay, they can. They're not gonna. Why? Because that's a stupid same idea. Reason. Same reason why, why they don't. Look, cross you know, the Fiji Island iguana is not the same thing as a Komodo dragon. It's, bro, it's, it's not, not about. It's not about the danger. It's not about. It's, it's not. about the animal it's in the wild. It's about drive. It's about no. power. Uh, you're so stupid. <laughs> you guys are just talking out of your ass. <laughs> no, but it ma- it doesn't make sense. That's the thing. Yeah, it does. We I, I don't know enough. It does. I don't know exactly. enough. I would need to research more. Like, but right now, the reason that's what the I have, it doesn't make sense. The reason why I'm saying it this way is because there's other animals like that one. In that same scenario, mm-hmm. that cannot be passed around yeah. because of certain things. Each one of them, uh, dwarf crocodiles, for example. Yeah, but those are all like animals that can cause great concern with people. Not really. I mean, not for, all of them. For dwarf like, croc, no. What do you mean? It's my size. It could eat me. No. It's gonna size me up. No, it can't. Bro, no, it's it scary. Can't. <laughs> no, it can't. <laughs> Halloween. No, it can't. And that one just got out of that. Out of what? Uh, the protection thing. They're still protected, but I just got into the private sector. Hmm. I mean, everything is eventually gonna make it to the private sector mm, under certain rules and Thank laws, you. which it yeah. should be. Which it should be. Yeah, they I'm should not be under that. It, but it will. Yeah, it will. eventually you will see people with pet Komodo dragons. It'll happen. I mm. hope not. I hope not. But it'll happen. Nah. Um, one of the other uh, laws that he had an issue with. Again, I have to make the stipulation now. I didn't go into the fucking legal issues of why this law exists and why it's there. But you cannot have. Uh, so, for the whole branch, uh, you can't have native species as pets, which, for me, I can see the the, the sense. In Georgia, you cannot have corn snakes as pets. Oh. You can't keep them. Which you know, I think for him it was kind of stupid because it's like they're already there. What's the deal? Because he thinks, oh, if you just release it, it'll su- it'll survive. But it's native, so it doesn't matter. That's his argument. I think that where he's coming from. But okay. for me, even though an animal might not be endangered. Like the species might not be endangered, it could be threatened or having a uh, loss of habitat in that area. So while northern pine snakes aren't endangered for the most part, like the species itself is not endangered, in New Jersey they are threatened species. They are protected species. Okay. You cannot keep uh, northern pine snakes in New Jersey. Okay. Do you think that you should keep? Na- Would you rather keep? Well, I guess not you because you're. It'll be easy for you're you. Gay. Yeah, I'd rather keep the native shit. But like, do you think for the vast majority of people do you think it's better to keep native stuff or do you think it, it would be better for us to keep non-native here stuff? here's an Depen- interesting point with that it yeah, depends yeah. because let's say indigo snakes uh-huh. eastern Oof. indigo snakes native to florida should people just have indigo snakes no if they're captive born mm. they need to be captive born because then They'll you are pulling the out of indi- They'll yes fuck up. two yes. things two things two things that i got from that you can fuck up the genetics open some market for poaching Yes, it opens the market okay. for poaching. So, no. I mean, but that's so that, maybe with that some that regulations, they're like, hey, this is a threatened species. These are protected species. Yeah. You can only have natives, but you still can't have that. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I can see that. Like, that's like the fuck shit that, not to get too much on the Florida shit, that's like the fuck shit that FWC wants to do. They want us to only be able to have the animals that are native here. Yeah, because, like, we've brought mm. so much in. Might as well, like, breed what's already Hey, <laughs> you guys here. are releasing shit. Might as well release fucking indigo <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean. What are you doing? <laughs> no, but yeah. Not a bad point, exactly, because that's just shit. Like, with humans. Humans are shit. They open a market for the wrong shit. Yeah. Like, poaching, for example. Like, oh, you can't have native? Why? Because everybody then goes outside, starts grabbing shit, going to reptile shows, and selling them back. Yeah. yeah. And then the animals in the wild get fucked. Technically, 
biologically dead yeah. to that environment. Yeah. That's gotcha. the thing with the pet trade. Nobody understands that or gives a fuck about that. That's mm. why I don't give a fuck if somebody's bitching about having something in a cage. Yeah. You're just bitching, trying to be a little girl crying around, but I think you don't give a they, fuck about the animal in the wild. They you, don't see that. They don't, care, they don't care about the animals themselves. They only care about the animals in a cage. That's how I see it. Yeah. If you really liked an animal, you would really look into the fucking animal. Like, yeah. what does it do in the wild, bro? Mm. But no, you know how people learn nowadays, especially within the trade? Mm. They just watch a video on YouTube of another stupid fuck talking about it in a cage. Mm. Nobody's really learning about them in the wild because nobody gives a fuck. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to see them in somebody's hand, somebody, you know, like... They're, they're disconnected from that yeah. Yeah. part of reality of these animals. The only, like a lot of people. I would say there's also not a lot out there. What do you mean? Like if I wanted to see, if I wanted to see a couple videos on, let's say, oh, I actually know this very specifically. There's Vietnamese, a couple of Vietnamese Blue Beauties. Yep. I find it on the internet. I see a picture. I'm like, that is a gorgeous snake. I want to learn more about it. Okay. You will not find basically but, any video. But, there are no videos. There's but, no documentaries. But, you have to go into books. That are over 40 years old. Yeah, but you know what's the problem with that too? People don't give a fuck about those things. So nobody goes... They're not available. The, bro, if you make it available, if somebody makes certain uh, some of those things available, people don't give a fuck enough to watch it. I think people so would people care are not. They don't. They don't because people have tried with certain species. And those, with those videos, you have to go onto YouTube, change the filter into videos that are older with less views. Yeah. Because people don't give a fuck about that. They mm. just fucking don't. They only give a fuck about an animal in a cage and look how cool it looks. Yeah. That's why with certain animals, like the caiman lizard at home, I don't read what other people have done. Mm -hmm. I don't read none of that shit. I literally looked up, where the fuck do they keep them in the wild? Oh, there's farms. Let me see what the fuck they're doing over here. Oh, what part do they live in? I didn't even have to read. Ikido's, um, what was it? What country was it? Peru? I think it's Peru. Per yeah. yeah. Ikido's Peru. I looked into that shit, looked at the environment, looked at the areas where people see them in the wild, and I was like, okay, I can match this, 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 this. That shit looks hot as fuck right there. What are the temperatures in this country? Boom, got all that shit, and I got my Cayman Lizard Must running. be nice that there's that much information on Cayman Lizards. There isn't. I literally said there isn't. That, I literally but that's more than most species, That was it, the information. Yeah, but look, no, what no, no, you're no. saying is more you than said, most no, 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 species no. available. You, you, you it went right over your head, because I didn't look into the Cayman Lizard. I looked into the environment. Nobody yeah. told me this shit. It's, I literally looked yeah. at, at the temperatures and the surroundings, I looked at, okay, where do people find them? I guess this, this river, which is called Ikido's River. Yeah. I looked into the river, looked at pictures. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't reach it. I looked yeah. at pictures, and I'm like, okay, yeah. this is the habitat yeah. right here. I did, Boom. I did like similar that. with the brettles. When I, got it, when I got them, I tried to look at, like, groups, ask people questions, but their care was always A to Z. It was like, dude, like, it's like you're either over here, you're over there. Yeah. So what I did, I was like, Alice Springs, Australia. Okay, this mm -hmm. is the way that they're kept. Hottest temperature year round, coldest <coughs> yeah. temperature year yeah. round. So this yeah. is the gradient that they can be in. I did the so same. they're gonna do yeah. fine out here. I did the same here. with that's my I mean. Vietnamese and the, <clears throat> but the that's, Vietnamese plate list. I was right like, I need to see the information. That right there is research in caring for an animal. So most of these people just try to look at somebody else that has already done it, and I, that's not learning. That's just yeah. you getting shit through your head. And most a lot of those things that those people can say is out, out of experience, not research, and they can be mm -hmm. wrong. And that, those wrong <laughs> messages can be passed around. I think it's because the priority is different. Like, when I go into a pet store, I'm like, my priority is to keep this animal alive and to enjoy it as long as possible. That is my priority. Whatever I have to do, teach me how to... Uh, care sheets. Care sheets are a prime example of that. Give me a step-by-step -step list of instructions of what I have to do to keep this thing alive. Perfect. That's what I'm going to do. Whereas people that actually care about the animals were like, no, I want this animal to have the best life I and can I give it. And I feel like that's the lesser amount of people that think that way. Yeah. That's, that's where my problem is, especially with laws. It's like... People are bitching over having something in a cage. And it's like, you don't even give a fuck about them in the wild. I don't even give a fuck about you having something in a cage. Mm -hmm. Like, if something's endangered and I can't have it, I fucking understand. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't need to have it. It's endangered. Like Eric with Galapagos iguanas. <laughs> 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 fucking bitch. Eric's like, I know, I know they're illegal. Pero. <laughs> yeah. No, that's the thing. Like, people just give a fuck about them in captivity. And it's yeah. like, no, like, just put the animal somewhere or an organization that actually gives a fuck. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, I'm just having something in a cage just because I want to look cool and I just want to have something and say, that thing's endangered. There's only 100 left and I have one here. <laughs> like, I have 1% of the yeah. whole population. Yeah, it's just like, it's stupid. I don't care for that. I don't feel bad for you. You're just bitching and you're just a little girl. That's yeah. yeah. I, like, I, I think 
a little similarly in the sense like I don't keep terrapins anymore because mm-hmm. of like laws are a little sketchy and I'm like I don't want to get in any trouble. Like there's there, you know like I'd love to have one as a pet, but I'm like if it's gonna cause all this drama, I don't want it. But if they allow breeding for conservation and I'm gonna be releasing stuff or whatever, absolutely, I'm fine with that. If I can give them to somebody that's gonna do their thing, then I'll fucking breed. I don't give a shit, mm-hmm. you know. But yeah, I feel that. Yeah, yeah. there was a, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, with with I think back to the to the native thing. Would you be okay if Florida's like, all right, guys, we're only keeping native species. That's Fine. it. Done. You have to get rid of the stuff you got. If they that could do w- that. That won't if happen. They could do it. it they, won't happen. They but can't. if they could do it, would they you be like, okay, they fine. They can't, but yes. You would do it. Yeah, they can't, but yes. Because you can't. The thing with laws like that is that you can't it's go back. It's your private property. You, no, no, not even, not even that. You can't go. Like, right now, it's legal to have it. Mm. It's, you can't come back from a law and take things away. That's why grandfathered in happens. Mm. Because since it was legal to have when you had it, when yeah. you first got it, they can't go back on that law and take it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so for example, people that go to prison for weed, for example, right? Yeah. Years ago, yeah, now yeah, that yeah. it's legal, they don't come out because they committed the crime when it was illegal. So they can't right. go back on those things. Which isn't 100%. Uh, I think... Yes. I think Biden yes. actually yes. just released yeah. a bunch yes. of people. But he can do that, and all presidents do that. Because <laughs> he's the fucking president. No, 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 no. All presidents do that. All yeah. presidents release people from prison for certain things. Yeah, pardons. And whatever. you can, yeah, yeah, and you can pick and choose what they are. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. every president does that, so I'm not surprised by it. But legally, as a country, we cannot go back and put somebody in jail. Let's say somebody you got caught with weed a minute ago, mm. right? And then now that is legal, like. They They're going to be like, oh, I guess you can go. No, not even. Like, they can't arrest you for something you did back then. Yeah. So if you have an animal that's legal to have, and then the laws pass that it's illegal, they can't take it away. Yeah. They can limit what you can do. So they put enclosure requirements and shit like mm-hmm. that, yeah. but they can't take it away. Yeah. That's why every time the U.S. Arc shit starts happening, I'm just like, you guys are, it's bullshit. Do you think it's, that, like, if, like, let's say U.S. Arc, or not U.S. Arc, uh, FWC was like, hey, we're going to ban Cayman lizards, let's say, mm-hmm. which they have said before. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we're going to ban Cayman lizards. And then they make the enclosure requirements essentially impossible. Like if they go, oh, you need at least like six feet deep worth of concrete. You need a uh, fucking like a water portion like half the size of your lawn. I mean, like, that is not the if requirements. They do something, they, you think they could do something so ridiculous that people could stop having them because they can't do that's that. That's the thing. The requirements that usually come out are not ridiculous. Right. They're not insane. They're not They're ridiculous. not insane. But They're like, do you think they could do that? Do you think that's a thing that they would or could do? No, they can't. Why not? They can't because now that's not a thing made by one person. It's a thing made by multiple people. Mm -hmm. There's different opinions going around. You just meet in the middle. So, like, the requirements have to have a purpose. Mm -hmm. For example, like, when they made concrete floors for the iguanas. So they can't dig out. There's that there, you have to make things with a reason. You can't make it just big just because. Right. right you can't right. make it just like you just. But why not? Why can't they? Because you have to give it a reason. For example, like animal training. For there example. are no enclosures in the wild. The Cayman lizard could have your entire lawn. That's I hate this guy, dude. I why not? Hate why can't they say that? I hate this guy. It doesn't make sense. The both of you, yeah. the both of you, go from one extreme to the other. Yeah. I find it so <laughs> funny when you argue with him and you're like, blah blah blah. This is my point. And then when he argues with you with the same kind of logic, you got. I fucking hate him, bro. <laughs> I fucking this hate is the him. whole thing. I fucking hate him because it's like if you really pay attention to things and like learn a little bit and do some research on this shit like you can tell like not even within animals within laws like they can't do it they just can't it's multiple people they have to be they have to give a reason for example aza zoos if you want to train crocodilians you have to say why the certain training is happening for example we can't train crocodiles to get like we can get on top touch their eyes ears and their teeth and they're gonna be like why are you doing that Uh oh it's just to give them medicine and they're gonna be like you can get a spray bottle and spray them. Like, you don't have to do that. Then yeah. I can't do it anymore because of it. Uh-huh. So you have to, if you're going to build an enclosure or put loss to an enclosure, everything has to have a logical reason. Right. Not, you can't make anything extreme just because. Concrete floors, they don't dig out. For tortoises, I think it was like a mesh floor. and People were bitching about it. That's yeah, what they wanted to put. And it's like, just put a mesh floor, it's pussy. Just yeah, mesh. but they dig out. They can huh? dig out of that. What? They can dig out of the mesh floor. No, they won't. If you sandwich two pieces of wood under, it's not mesh, it's a wire. So if you put if you sandwich the wire on two pieces of wood, which uh-huh. was the thing, yeah. and then put rocks and then dirt on top, put the tortoises, they can't get out. Yeah. But people don't want to put the money onto those things because now, oh, that's too much. Oh, they're just pushing for the most. And it's like, no, we just don't want shit around. But what, you're saying they can't push for the most. 
not for they extra. Can't be like, no, oh, they we're can't gonna be do like, the whole they can't be like, ass. yo, we, it has to be a camel lizard. It needs a, a six foot deep. Uh, to That's pull. what I'm saying. Like yeah, they, yeah, can't yeah. Like they can't push that. They can't push that. They can't push that because it's not logical. It's a small animal. It's not logical. Mm. It's a not, lot of people think the laws now for like iguanas and tegu enclosures outside are illogical because people are stupid. Because people want to keep them in the minimum. But you think they a six them, foot They want to keep them in an Edzoterra, dude. So that's what the fuck they want to do. And that, saw, that's stupid. You saw native population, or not native populations. You saw the native habitat of Cayman Lizards where they're endemic too. Yeah. And what if FWC is like, we need you to replicate that. We need you, you to create a little tiny marsh in your backyard so that you can keep this animal properly. They can't do that. Why not? <laughs> because they can go to that extreme. They have to have a source of water, a certain dimension. They're going to give you a dimension for it, which for alligators, all they have to do is be able to turn around, which is fucked. Yeah. It's, uh, they just can't touch the walls. As long as they don't touch the walls, they're fine. So yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, but a lot of just, people think that that's excessive. So like a four-foot alligator There are people in Florida needs thinking a five that foot that pen? is excessive. Four and one inch. Got you. That's you you huge, understand? Dude. Like yeah. it's like it's Foreign not. Money, that's massive. It's just people bitching. It's people bitching because they don't want to put the money where it should go. Yeah. It's people just fucking bitching. Yeah. Concrete floors so the shit don't get out. Just put fucking concrete. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're broke. You shouldn't have the animal. That's where I'm at. If you can't support the animal, don't have it. Yeah. Listen, y'all. Last season, you know that um, Imperial Reptiles was our sponsor. Unfortunately, things have changed. In the positive way, right? All right, so we have something special for you. Instead of the typical, like, oh, yeah, we got Imperial Reptiles here, we're doing better. If you're listening to this, you definitely love reptiles, which is great. What if I told you I can get you decor, enclosures, some of them, supplies, and even some food at a fucking discount, my guy? Discount. ImperialReptiles.com. Head on over there and use the code REPTILESWITH to get a discount on your order today. All right? We're doing our best here, right? So ImperialReptiles.com. Use the code REPTILESWITH for your discount today. Uh, Dave Kaufman just did a, another video with Tiki's Geckos. And I found Tiki's it. Tiki's Plecos. I, my, Tiki's Plecos. Tiki's Tiki's my Tiki friend uh, Newton, because he's not a reptile guy, he calls them Kinky Skinkies. I like that. Hell That's yeah. <laughs> um, so he... In the video, they, they show a whole bunch of the animals. Um, but I thought it was real cool that, like, apparently Dave had um, taken videos with them at, like, when... when It's going to get confusing with Dave and David. So, nice. Tiki... Yeah. When, uh, fuck, man. Dave Kaufman filmed with Tiki's when he lived with his moms and he had it in the garage. Then he filmed when they lived in the other house that, you know, that was with Manny and, and Tiki. And then now he films in Tiki's big-ass fucking place. Mm -hmm. They showed a whole bunch of cool animals. I mean, they got a lot of space. They got different kinds of day geckos, different kind of New Caledonia geckos. Mm -hmm. And I know you were talking to me something about the those cappuccinos. Yeah. Yeah, what was up with that? They came out with the... Uh, uh, Tiki Tacos. They came out with a, Tiki Tacos. Uh, a video about the cappuccino gene in uh, crested geckos and about how some people are seeing certain problems with them. One of them being, uh, and you, you, I think we sent it in the in the chat, how about them having smaller and smaller nostrils. Oh, yeah. yeah. And like having really, really small nostrils. Um, and there was, he was saying about like whether or not we should breed them now that more information has come out about certain things. Um, me personally, sometimes I, it, it makes me think sometimes about like reptile experimentation, and how it what, what we're basically doing is experimenting. We yeah, are like but blindly. Mm, I wonder, but blindly. Of course, of yeah. course, blindly. You know, we don't know how the genetics works of the individual animals. Almost no one does. We've only mapped out maybe a couple genomes mm. from certain animals. Barely we have anything. no idea. And a lot of the times, we name them the wrong thing. Yeah, we're going we're going in blind. <laughs> yeah, it's blind, and it's like, oh, this shit looks different. Let's name it this. Yeah, and yeah, it yeah. exists in another form somewhere else. Yeah, mm. but people don't really look into it. Yeah. So, uh, with the with the ethics of it, I guess. I guess if it's like, you know, you have to think about it. It's like, oh, if I know what I'm doing. If I know what I'm doing is wrong, should I keep doing it? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that... For money, they do it. Yeah, yeah for money, But they I think, do it. like, for example, in Tiki's case, like, he was like, I don't plan on making super cappuccinos or, or because they have issues right now because of the incest and the lack of, you know... Yeah, they were saying you need to start getting more bloodlines. Exactly. It's about putting in more bloodlines so that way the problems that the cappuccino has, That's a theory. you can rule it out. Yeah, but it, it's things that you can line you know how long? You know it, how long they've been saying that for the spider ball pythons and it's still happening? Yeah, we can cross Them boys, yo, that's just been happening for like yeah, over but, 10 well, no, years. The, the, we'll find it, dude. That, that's we'll what, find that's it. Different. The spider ball python was only one 
animal. Yeah, yeah. but that's different. One so they're all inbred. So yeah. they're all inbred. There's but no that's points. different because that's a neurological thing. This is a. It's thing. still genetic. Okay, yeah, but that's neurological. But what it's it, still genetic. I know, but if right now they're testing that these cappuccinos, they, oh, they got a small head. Let's breed them to all the ones with the bigger heads. See if we can make them have bigger heads. Oh, they got small genetic. nostrils. It, both things are genetic right there. Okay, but, but one of well, them they're is just, They're physical. just trying to cut off the inbreeding part of it. Yeah, they're there, trying to separate There's a lot of factors that they don't know are happening, but they're like, if we get rid of the inbreeding, maybe it'll fix it. If it doesn't fix it, then they're like, all right, something is wrong with this then gene, you, something is wrong with this Then you bred this to this, you sent it out, you might say you're not breeding it anymore, then those people don't give a fuck, they still breed them, and you cost an entire yeah, but form I can't of... Yeah, I can't be in charge of fucking Eric over there that wants to fucking breed spider no, ball pythons. Hey, you're, ball and, pythons. and you're right, and you're right, and that's the fuck shit, because the animal ends up paying for that. Chuck's like, that's the government's job. <laughs> no, 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 that, the animal ends up paying for that, and that's what's fucked, in my opinion. Yeah. Putting an animal into that position yeah. breeding it because of that and then you're like oh no i'm not gonna breed it anymore and then if they breed it which you sold it to them you got it out of your fucking system to put it into somebody else you're like oh that's not my problem anymore I what is the animal's fucking problem that you began yeah i will say i don't believe um oh not that i don't believe it but t uh tiki tiki tacos um david he was saying about how um he was like basically a call to action like if you guys know you have cappuccinos, go ahead and start getting other cappuccinos from other lines so that you don't start doing uh, the yeah. inbreeding stuff. And maybe we can see if this issue resolves itself. Like, it's uh -huh. not that big a deal. Um, and I'm like, you're asking a lot of people. Dude. <laughs> you're asking a lot of people that they're not going to do that. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure there'll be the good breeders that do it. But I mean, but at the end of the day, that's why you shop with reputable you try to be reputable. Mm -hmm. You want to compete with the reputable, you got to be reputable, right? Yeah. So, but yeah, I mean, I think it's cool, I, but I'm also like 50-50 with it because I also, I mean, Lily Whites apparently also have issues, and I don't know where the status is with that. The super, you can't breed supers. You, you can't, can't breed, breed super, super Got you. Uh, the, it's terminal. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, hell yeah. yeah what I about with, Lemon Frost Leopard Geckos? Oh, my God. <laughs> you see, that's one where I'm like, yo, come on, guys. You know, I mean, it, it's, it, it's all part of it, though. It's the same shit. It's all genetic shit that ends up fucking the you animal know what, though, in one way or another. So, yeah, but what is a small head going to do for a captive bred crescent gecko? What, just, oh, it has a smaller head than usual. Yeah, this and is, then the nostrils is, and shit, bro. Yeah, like, no, 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 I'm counts. saying the small head. I'm saying the small head. I understand the, the nostril part. The animal can't breathe. Yeah, it's Okay, fucked. but I'm saying a small head. Like, what is, one outweighs the other. It's like saying, oh, yeah, this leopard gecko. Yeah, but a small gecko, head, like, like, what does it cause? That's not the way the animal looks. That's a genetic mutation that is not... Okay, but that's that it's can't not, be in the not same good ballpark. For the animal. That cannot be in the same ballpark as lemon it is. frost leopard it geckos is. legitimately have a thing it that is. causes cancer. In it them. is. It is the same. You're changing the, the the genetics of an animal for the worst. They don't look like that in the wild for a fucking reason. They won't survive. Why? Because it's not to their benefit. You're doing it for your benefit because you think it's cool because you want to have it. I get that, it. That's fucked for the animal. I get it, but we can't compare. An, this animal has small it's head. A genetic, this one has cancer. It's a genetic mutation. Right, that we breed for okay. and causes these changes yeah. on the animals. Same when fucking you, shit. When you write Different. it, when you write it on paper without detail, yeah, that makes sense. But when you're like, okay, are we gonna if we're gonna breed anything, are we gonna breed the animal that has small head, or are we gonna breed the animal that has cancer? Bro, you're changing the animal genetically the same. Okay, that's the thing. You you're controlling both things. It's not the same outcome, but what you're controlling is the same. You're fucking the animal over because you want to make some money. Okay. And that is stupid. That is bullshit. That is fucked okay, for the you, animal. Why are you fucking over the animal? Huh? Just because it has a smaller head, why is that individual animal getting fucked? Why doesn't the animal look like that normally? It's not for their benefit. There are mutations that happen in the wild that cause yes, different but, things. Yeah, that's, but how, not, that's how natural selection happens. Absolutely, but that's not one. You don't know that? Uh, for sure, that's not but one. What if having a smaller animals. head makes them more adept at sticking their noses into shit? Come on, that is... Oh, yeah, because that's how they... Look, that's how, that's, how, that's how evolutionists talk. No, they say shit that. like that. No. <laughs> They're like, oh, the beak is smaller, so it can eat seeds. And Bro. the beak is bigger, so it can eat nuts. Bro. All right. Any, look, that's what I'm saying. Any He's little thing... Out of, thing. I hate how he talks out of his ass, but he doesn't do research on any of this shit. Any little thing. Any little thing. And this is so thing. fucking annoying. Just out of his ass. Dude, just I because, actually went to college for this stuff. Just because y'all want to have animals in captivity no matter what, that's fucked for me. In my opinion, that's fucked. You just want to change an animal how it looks normally in the wild for your own benefit? I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't have respect Nature for that. Nature does it itself. Not in that way. Absolutely not. Those animals that are born like that die for a fucking reason. No, when some evolved, of those animals survive and do better. Evolved, when they evolved is for the better. But why haven't they? You're trying to control the way an animal looks to your benefit. And you can't... If an animal is born with a mutation that's not good in the wild, what happens? It dies. It dies. 
in captivity, what happens? It, it gets survives. sold. It gets sold and bred again, and then inbred on top of that. Mm -hmm. Like, that's fucked. That's fucked. I feel like people like that don't give a fuck about animals. They give a fuck about the outcome, money, and looking cool. I don't give a fuck for that. Like, that's yeah, not my thing. Okay, that's not my so thing. And, and a question. To, a say question. More, to say more, hold on. To say more, our industry is so small, and I'm going to tell you right now, within society, anybody else hears this shit, that shit will get smaller and smaller and smaller mm. because ethically, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. It's not good. Uh, that's why you will lose every time. And Europe is passing those laws right now. I'm going to tell you something. And Keck is going to think it's impossible. Even though the logic is the same as what he agrees with. But he's going to say no. He's going to hate it. You ready? I hate you. <laughs> Let's say you breed Diamondback Terrapins, right? Okay. And for some reason, they're not doing well in the wild. Let's say it's not human related. Okay. Let's say, um, I don't know, uh, not enough resistance to salinity in the water. Okay. Right? And if we did that, we would fix their ecosystems. They would have a larger, whatever, whatever. Okay. Let's say we that could, is the stupidest shit. Let's say we could go through already. that. Already. You start to breed them. And you start to go for those traits that produce higher salinity. That, like you, you say, this diamondback, yeah. this diamondback terrapin can survive more salt in the water. Yeah. And you start to breed them, and then you release them. You do it the proper way through conservation, no inbreeding and shit. You do it the proper way, and you release them. Should, is, like, ethically, should you do that to save the species? You are, you are already, basically acting in natural selection. He already can say no, because I, I, no, I, I, no. I know why he's going to say. Uh, no, you know, no, you don't. No, what am I going to say? Go ahead, say it. No, say it, say it. No, go say it. it. You know what I'm going to say. Go, go for ahead. it. Go ahead, no, go you're going to say it go anyway. Ahead. They're why, like children. Why, is it, why did the environment change? Let's start there. Why did the environment change? The environment changes all the time. Uh, why did the environment change? The environment Something, changes all the time. Not just because. There are causes to the environment. It's usually because of people. A butterfly now, flapped uh, its wings, caused a hurricane in another you country. You hear this motherfucker? The environment this changes, This motherfucker buddy. is so stupid. The not environment that. changes, buddy. Ha Anything can change reason. the environment. There's always a reason. Anything There's always a reason. The if the, wa if the water... There was less rain that year. You know, listen. Just so you can sound more stupid. There's more minerals in the water. Just so you can sound more stupid. You're a fucking idiot. You did not go to college. You, they kicked you out because you're a fucking dumbass. College. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. <laughs> okay. After this, okay. after this, he fucking didn't for actually, sure. Actually, listen, you listen, know listen, I listen. went to college for aerospace if engineering. The water, if the water changes, right, okay. and you're trying to breed a fucking turtle to put it back so that it can, quote unquote, survive... Do you think every other animal within that environment also survives? Probably not because the water fucking changed. Everything is supposed to evolve at the same time. You only put in an animal that can survive on its own. Now it can eat all the other animals that are dying out. They will reproduce, right? They'll survive that. And they'll end up dying out after because all the other things are dying. Chuck, so what you should do is, is exactly not breed to I put said. out. is change the environment. Chuck, this is exactly hold what on, I said. Hold on, hold but on. here's the thing. Here's what Chuck, he doesn't understand. Breathe. He doesn't understand. Breathe, breathe, bro. Look at his veins, dude. So so when he gets on his veins, I've ever Chuck does not understand that that happens naturally. The environment does that on its own. There's always it selects a for certain species There's and it kills off other so species. If, the, if, nature, if nature is changing, if nature has changed, right? So some animals cannot survive. Let's say, what, are we just better off with those animals? Should we just not try it? This is the thing. Most of the times that environments change it's drastically. Because of human actions. Most of the times that. That's so easy. <laughs> most of the time that. The How does it feel changes, to beat me? How does it feel? Shut up. <laughs> Most of the time, the environments change is because of people. When an environment changes, like he's saying, it's not drastic and it's not fast. It gives animals to evolve, a time to evolve the way they should. Naturally. But once an animal die. causes it, once, an anim once a human causes it, then the animals do not survive. Yeah. So when it's compete. natural, then yes, That's those animals true. should die. Yes, it is. Human, humans, let's say, have only been on this earth for a small portion of time. And yes. that time before... Multiple species died yes. constantly. Yes, yes, and there are many reasons without for people. It. Yeah, and there it's are crazy. It's like the environment does it on its own. We are he's only he's giving so it a little boost. That's what he said, dude. He's We're so only stupid. giving it a little boost. That's what he That's said. Yeah, he's just so stupid. That's what he said. That's what he said, dude. That's literally what I said. That's, That's literally what, what I said. said. <laughs> like I literally. <laughs> so you're, but you're saying it can't happen said. now. <laughs> That's not what I said. You said I if it happens now, it's because of human actions that the species comes out. No, 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 no. No, he said, and then he said if. Nature is changing on its own. Every, the animals the, will either adapt or die out. He didn't and say the, that. Yes, he, he said did. the animals he die. He did. No. He literally. Eric. Eric. Hold on, hold on. Go back. Eric, go Eric, back. Go he, back. He go can't back. go. He literally cannot go back. <laughs> it's live. <laughs> no, it's Eric, fine. did he not say that? Did he not dude, say that? No, he yes. didn't. He did. No, he, he didn't. Did. You he don't did. Listen. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go back. Go back. Let me say. You want to know how I know? You want to ask it first. No, no, no. You asked it first. I agreed. 
You want to know how I know? Because I was surprised when when Chuck said the animal should die. He literally said no, it right No, that's after a different he, point. That was a different point. He said that if the he, environment no, can't... If, he said the thing, and then he said the animal should die. That's how I remembered the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm presenting it to you. I'm saying he said the thing. Eric it listens to this thing. He's literally producing We're gonna go right back. Now. We're going to go back. You I said your point. You said your point. I'm going to say my point. We're going to go back, and we're going to read it over. This is what he read said. It over. He said, how if it happens naturally... It? Right? The animals have, it progresses slowly and the animals have time to adapt. The ones that he said, don't. the ones that don't is mostly because of human actions. No. That's what he said. That's exactly no. what he said. No, dude. That, yo, this, that, That's what he said. Go back. Go back. Go back. <laughs> that is not what I said. That's, That's not what I, said. what I said. I said, time now, most of the time, the, the environment changes that drastically, where like water, for example, is, which is a big one now, the way that changes is usually because of human action. So the animals, dying because of it are because of the environment we have changed so the only way to save that is by changing back what we put in for example farmers throwing in their chemicals and shit mm. one example of shit because if you go oh this turtle is not surviving there but i can breed it and get it to survive you're helping one species you're not helping the environment bro you're just putting an animal that can survive now and that everything else is fucking dying so what the fuck is the no purpose? no no i'm not saying everything else is fucking dying I'm saying this one particular species if is not changes, doing well here. If it changes think, to that extent, all the animals will die. A slight change okay. will cause an animal okay, okay, okay. to but die. Okay, okay, okay. But I think I think a Chuck, slight change Tino, can cause Tino, it. Chuck already answered your thing. He said that if it was natural for the thing to die, the animal should die. He already said it. Yeah, yeah. that's the yeah. answer. Yeah, yeah. but when it, when an environment is changing, not everything fucking dies, right? Right. So if if it's water changing, right, a lot of things are dying. What can change one species to die, for example, is the mm. evolution of certain predators. One, the evolution of themselves. They don't match the environment anymore. Mm. Shit like that. But when it comes to shit like water change, that causes everything to change. Plants are dying. Like, I gave one example. Shit is dying. <laughs> I gave one example. I have but, to go with your example. Like, that's just as, as that example. Spooky. But there's other things. It doesn't yeah. have to be water. It could be the fucking ground. You could go yeah. into a fucking dark ass ground and you put white sand. You're going to fuck it up. Like, it doesn't matter what it is. If you do those things, you're going to fuck it up. Mm. Now, if naturally the animal is going extinct, which I can point one specific one that I think we Amphibians. should just let it go. Amphibians are dying from disease. What animal should we let go? Condor. Oh. Yeah, they're not meant to be alive. What yeah. they eat is fucking dead dinosaurs and shit. But you're saying, but okay. For but the example. environment they still survived? has not huh? killed them. Why have they survived? They only the environment still cat- hasn't killed them. Hold on, let me get to... Yeah. They only survive in a small population because they're eating... What is it? Sea lions? Sea lions. Sea, they're eating small things like sea lions, but it's not enough to have an entire population of them survive. So they're dying out by themselves. Are people well, trying we're to protect breed, them? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're protecting them and not letting them die. Oh, interesting. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, they're also found in Ecuador, another species of them. But same thing. Yep. Wow. But the environment does that naturally. And the environment selects for certain species naturally you're saying that there's no possible way to do that artificially nope why not because you what you said we can change the turtle you're not like, you're changing the turtle is not you're, what you're making them. it unnatural because you the environment to, is trying to adapt yeah, to something yeah. else that's what conservation is conservation is not just breeding an animal it's the environment you have to bro it's not just breeding some shit bro it's plants insects fucking reptiles amphibians right. birds mammals the Water Drive, temperature, power, chemicals in the water, like yeah. the air pollution. Yeah, like, everything is connected. You can't, you can't not you can, do anything. You, you breathing is affecting the environment. Sure, fine, fuck it. You can't, exactly. So you cannot control, like, an animal. Oh, we're going to give it a small hit so they can survive in this because it's not really doing anything for the environment. So the then why can't you do the opposite? What do you mean the opposite? So what, what, you think, what is the opposite? You think it would be wrong to release an animal that you think is going to be better in an environment because the environment is naturally selecting against it. You're already Big trying to go against nature. Big word you use. What? Think. Right. Just because you think. you think. You're never going to you know. put it out. You can't know. It has a smaller head. Stuck. It breeds. They all go extinct or they all die out because of something you put or, out. Not. Or because that's human error. That's what you think. That's human error. That's no. human error. Or because of what you think, everything could go right. You can't do consequences. I yeah, agree. I agree. But, but everything cons, could go wrong. But everything the cons could go are bigger. Right. Like we were talking the other day, the cons are too big to be risking a whole population of animals. To You'll never that. know. But I agree with you there. I agree with you there. It doesn't matter. You can't know the consequences you think. Yeah. We're thinking. Yeah. So you can't. It's not ethical to think that you can do that for conservation or to protect a species. But you think you still think it's wrong to do it in captivity because you think it looks cool. Yes. Why? Because it affects the animal itself. What if we need that animal for the wild at some point and we can put them out? 
you just fucked up. I hope like that's the thing with pet keeping zoos and everything else, and why nobody fucks with the pet keeping community is because everybody's inbreeding and doing bullshit like that. And then they all want to talk about, I want to do things for conservation. I want my leopard gecko out of zoo. And all this dumb shit. <laughs> that was a hint. <laughs> that was a what hint. in the lemon frost did <laughs> you oh just say? God, yeah. <laughs> so shit like that. Like everybody wants like, oh, like people don't look at me or people don't respect me and this and that. That is the fucking reason because what you're doing is fucking bullshit for the animal. You're just doing it for money and for mutations that can in the future fuck up the animal. Like that is, there's nothing to be respected about that. But you're that. talking about mutations. I'm saying we could do it the right way. You can't. Like with, with the Diamondbacks, I'm like, oh, you're not inbreeding. You found two species, two different individuals that can tolerate higher salinity. You're breeding them together. You're doing the thing. You can you do can that try. properly. But you you're saying try, that if you breed they, them properly and still are doing it for morphs and for big heads Chuck, or whatever, Chuck that it's still wrong. It. He said the animal should die. That was a different thing. Bars. <laughs> <laughs> that was a different thing. Chuck's like, what's happening? <laughs> like you're trying to evolve an animal. Like a Pokemon. Yeah, you're trying to evolve the animal to what you think is better. Then you put it out and it goes south. That's on right. you. Right, 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 right. That's on you. And there's no and if it goes up, that's on you. Hey, no, yeah, but it's a big it's if. Not. It's a big if. It's a big if. It's a big it if. A big what you have to do is keep the environment how it is and let it change on its own without us fucking with it. So you can't. That's the only so you can't artificially evolve, according to Chuck. Ethically, you should not ethically evolve an organism, uh, uh, and you should not ethically devolve the organism. Yeah. What do you what do? You, do? Like, you evolve it. It's one or the other. You keep, bro. You don't have. If you breed something, you're not evolving it. You can just breed what it is, what the animal fucking is. Like I'm not. Like I'm not saying uh, I'm against. Nah, I'm not saying I'm not against localities and morphs and shit like that. I'm talking mutations that changes like the organism itself. Yeah, or exactly. Natural selection. Exactly. Purposes. Like there are people that do these things. For example, the have you seen? You, I've talked to you guys about it. The video of the anoles. Yeah. The evolve yes, and how, how the, fast they do. Yeah. yeah that yeah. is way different than. Having a small head and sending them out. They put them on a fucking rock in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, but I think the small head thing, though, I mean, they want to breed it to other animals with bigger heads for the bigger head. But that's, yeah, but, but you're so, hoping that's what's going to happen. You don't know. Yeah, but you, the only way you know is by testing it. That's yeah, science. Yeah, and then what happens to the ones that are bred like that? You send them out, you sell them because you no, want to make some money, <laughs> and then they end up breeding, and then you're like, oh, no, it doesn't work. Everybody stop breeding. You can't control no. what other people do. The animal's out there now because of you. But Bars. let's say, okay, the anole example, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, I think in the video it was happening because of hurricanes. Of what? Hurricane force winds were sending the anoles and they were like killing them because they couldn't hold on to the. No. To the I think we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, we're, do, we're talking about different things. Well, I saw a video where um, this. <laughs> this. We're like, what are you fucking <laughs> talking yeah, about? I guess it's a different video. There was a uh, uh, a researcher who noticed that a lot of anoles. Anal. There were a lot of anoles pre-hurricane, and that they were a certain way, and that post-hurricane they were a different way. One of the things was was topads. How uh, after mm -hmm. the hurricane, he saw that the ones with the larger <coughs> toe pads and the shorter tails, I think it was, held on to things stronger uh -huh. with, uh, with high force winds. Science. And so they weren't blown off and smacked against things, drowned, whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so that, that like, was an example of evolution. It's not natural selection. Where those uh -huh. anoles were able to survive. And that now the, the species, the population has changed. Right? It's an example. It's it the same thing with the Darwinian finches and, so I just, uh, I just and think, seasonal kinkers. I think that what you just said with natural selection is actually wrong and the evolution part is actually right. No, evolution is not right. Because of what I've seen with anoles, for example, when they put the anoles on the rock, the anoles looked exactly the same as each other. Mm -hmm. The babies that were born were born with longer legs. This man is still that trying is not to find natural the name selection, of the zoo. that is evolution. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read natural you the definition of evolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Natural selection would be. Two animals, okay, and Keep then talking. they breed. Let's say one with longer legs, one with shorter legs. They breed, and then the babies come out with longer legs because of the environment, whatever uh, benefits that's the evolution. most. And then, no, 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 wait, wait, that we, we're getting to it. Now, let's say there's an animal that's eating them, but it's easier to eat the ones with the shorter legs. Uh. What's going to survive the ones with the longer legs? Uh -huh. That is natural selection. No. Now, when you put two animals that look exactly the same into a rock, and the baby just changes... That is evolution within the moment it happens. No, because, because evolution happens as a result of natural selection. Yes. It doesn't yes. happen just because the no, genetics no. change it. Okay, evolution is pretty much an umbrella to all these other things, but it's not natural selection when it does that. Yes, it is. It is not natural I'm gonna, selection. I'm, before I even read the damn definition of evolution, uh -huh. evolution boy. is the change of species to produce the diversity of species we have today okay. through the process of natural selection. That's, it's, a, it's a scientific theory. That's what it's defined as. This I'm going to read it right now off of Wiki Googlepedia. This boy. 
This boy never. Are you mm-hmm. finding definitions too? I'm in, finding the actual scientists doing the fucking research. In oh, biology, like biology, instead of Wikipedia. In biology, evolution is the change in characteristics of a species over several generations yep. and relies on the process they of can. natural selection. They can. They can. That's what that is. But in this case, no, it it's isn't. not. With dude. the annals, it isn't. I, evolution has to be over several generations, changing species. That's bro, what evolution means. Bro, with the natural annals, selection the can annals, happen within a species with the annals, in a it season. It wasn't several. It was one generation I'm, that changed you, the entire... About a different, that changed the entire You're talking about animal. a different video than me. No, no, it's, fuck We're the, talking about no, different no, no, videos. We're talking the about the video. hurricane video. Fuck, fuck the videos. The animal itself is what I'm talking about. Anoles are one of the fastest evolving animals because Did it, it only change takes, species? No, it changed... And it's not evolution. No, no, listen. It changed the morphology of the animal. That's natural selection. The way it looks. The way it That's looks. That's natural selection. Natural selection Evolution means, results in this diversifying boy, of this species. Boy, this boy... Let me see if it's Natural different. selection happens within species that then over generations can result in evolution and a change in species. That's the point. Let me see if it's this one. When you have a single, like the same species, just because bigger toe pads, that's not evolution. That's natural selection. This boy, anyway, in this one. This is another one. Anyway, let's say with that research, we know now that the ones Boom. with bigger toe pads and shorter tails uh, survive boom. hurricanes. It's called conversion evolution. Get it straight. No, it's not. It, it is part of it. It is part of it. <laughs> conversion because, evolution no, no, is separate two instances yeah. of two animals yes, yes, fulfilling the yes, same yes, biological yes. niche yes. and looking physically yes. similar. Exactly. You're not exactly. saying anything new. Exactly. When you put an animal that it does not belong in this island thing that they put them in, Atta watch boy. the rock. Watch the fucking rock that they put them in. Crack. <laughs> But it's literally a fucking rock. That's the same guy. With some bushes. He has multiple it's a videos. It's different video. Yeah, he, has, yeah, yeah. he has multiple, multiple That's videos. That's the same guy. This is the one in Puerto Rico, I think. I like he how just... they argue to agree with themselves. <laughs> no, it's not. They're like, oh, it's no, the same guy. No, no. Oh, we're friends, right? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> we're still no, friends, no, no, no. are we? What, what his point was in this video is every island has their own version of a nose, but they all look the same within their... Genus? No, the ones in the grass, right? The grass and owls okay. in each island look like each other, but they're not related. Grand That's convergent okay. evolution. Right. Correct? Right. Cool. So when you get one of those anoles, you change the entire uh, uh, habitat of where they live. And you put them in this rock. And animal, I believe the ones they put in were the ones that were at the... The at, fuck? At the, I dropped my piercing. Uh, uh, at the bark, at the uh, middle of the tree. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Like the ones that lived in the middle of the tree. Uh-huh. Yeah. You put them on an island with bushes. Mm. Then it becomes... Conversion evolution because it evolves into whatever other anole lives in that same situation. That's where the conversion evolution comes there because it changes within one uh, generation. Generation. If no. if there's an anole, which there is in uh, Monito Island, I believe it is. It evolved exactly like that other anole that lives over there. That's where the conversion evolution is. Now, when that anole know. with only one fucking generation changes, fucking. it's not. Uh, what you were saying, what was it? Natural selection. Natural selection anymore, because natural selection, it has to be selected for certain things. There has to be different options, and the selection happens by predators or their environment. Mm. You, what, you're, what you're talking is not evolution. It's just fulfilling the niche. It's like, because convergent evolution has to happen in separate instances. They cannot cross. They cannot I go think over. Here's, I, an, here's an example. He's saying, if I took an Amazon tree boa, and I stuck it on an island in New Guinea, right? And then all of a sudden, that... <laughs> Amazon tree boa inhabited the same niches as green tree pythons. That That's not the same thing. That's not conversion what evolution. Did you go to dumbass university, bitch? <laughs> dumbass university? I actually went bro. to a four-year college, though. Bro. bro. <laughs> so, I mean, bro. I mean, I went to a bro. real college. By what you just said, by what you just said, say it out loud again so you can sound stupid again. You have no idea what conversion <laughs> evolution is. No, 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 no. I, just, I literally just said what it is. It's no. two animals. It's two different animals that evolve the same. Dolphins and sharks, for example, convergent evolution. They have the sure. same body shape because I know what the fuck it is. I'm not talking then about Then why would ass. you say that if you moved an animal into a new ecosystem and it filled a biological niche, that that is an example of convergent evolution? Because there are the animals that fill the niche somewhere else, which is what they were trying to prove. What about the brown and the greens? I'm confused. I'm confused. You, so there's, I, there's, 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 there's an animal. It's that, not convergent evolution then. They're just proving that that species or that this particular the, the genus, animal is the genus, is the genus. can do that. Yeah, it's a genus. That's not conversion penis. evolution. Though. It is, but you controlled it, which is what you were talking about earlier. No. You, you're controlling an no. animal to change, to fill the niche of another anole somewhere else. Anal. Now, those anoles were... Right, evolve that's very not conversion similarly. evolution. Conversion evolution has to be separate. Two ecosystems produce two said, animals that look the same. Exactly. The other anole, doesn't, they don't live in the same place. They live right. in, certain diff- in two different areas, two right. different islands, two totally different environments, just similar enough to change them to be very similar to each other. That's why each island in the Caribbean has a 
crown and alls, which is what it's what they call their crown and alls, the ones at the top. Same thing with the geckos. Yeah, yeah. like crested geckos. With crested and shit like Wait, that. Okay, let me. Let me try to clarify. Let me try to clarify. I gotta go back to saying. the dumbassery. No, let me I need, try to, I need clarify. to get back at that shit. Let me try to clarify what no. you're saying. So there's an island with canopy and knolls, let's say. I'm making yeah, it Yeah, make it out. Yeah, yeah, the knolls yeah. that live in the canopy. Yeah. And then I move that to an island where there's no there canopies. are no canopy yes. and knolls. And I move it there, and then it fulfills that niche. Yes. Right? But on this island, there are also a knolls that no, no, do, no, no, do no, the no, canopy. No, 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 no. Not the same island. Why not? Because they weren't. That's not what they did. Now, I'm not saying like it can't be that, but they weren't. Where they put those anole, they were the only anole in the island. How is that an example of convergent evolution? There's because no two species that look the same or doing the same thing. They end up, no, at the beginning, no. The end, the first generation after, yes. Because they, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. They put the different anole in and then it fulfilled the need. All right, guys. Convergent evolution. Then after, it's it, not convergent evolution. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Oh my if you leave God. It there, no, it's not. It's if you not. leave it there long enough, they it's end not. up. Filling in the next generations. Huh? You have to leave it in there for millions Bro, of years. The babies, as they came out, the legs changed. The legs already changed. You need it to be millions of years to be convergent evolution. It with has to be the, several generations. Bro, this boy, it can't be a single generation. This boy with the annuls. It can't. This boy with the annuls. That's just science, bro. Reading I'm not, I, I, he's reading fighting the science. That's the reading thing. Reading to the annuls. <laughs> anyway, anyway, reading anyway. To the oh, no, going back, back no, to uh, hurricanes. Back, going back, no, no, to hurricanes. back to the domasery. I cannot let that shit go. What was it? Because you literally just got my. What I said about lemurs in Madagascar, and you made it shit. What do you mean? Say it again. What was that he said word by word, Eric? <laughs> Come on. I, yeah, it's so stupid. I'll do you one better. No, yeah. what? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he How? did. You were talking about... We need to go back. Yeah. We need to go back because that was stupid. We'll go back. We're going to rewatch gonna, this episode. Right, yeah, you, we're were gonna saying, anyway. you were saying that, oh, something about convergent evolution is not... Yeah. yeah, that's what it is. For example, lemurs. Lemurs, when they got to Madagascar, so there wasn't a mouse. So the lemur ended up becoming a mouse lemur to fill in the blank of lemur. the mouse not being there. Right. So that is convergent evolution. Over is, generations. Yeah, but that is... A, Through natural selection. Is, but you it wasn't a that. single predict- animal that you put in a new niche that then adopted that niche. Yes, and that is... That is it's like if I did this. If I put curly tail lizards, right? Actually, even better, even better. We'll still keep it in holes. Brown and green and holes. Brown and green and holes. Green and holes used to be the only ones in Florida. Uh-huh. And then all of a sudden, the introduction of brown and holes had them push upwards because they're more territorial. They breed a lot faster. The green and holes pushed upwards. The brown and holes took more of that lower portion. Oh, the green and holes turned into the canopy and holes. <laughs> the brown and holes pushed them up, right? You're saying that, oh, this is convergent evolution because the brown and holes in a new area are doing what the green and holes did. They're fulfilling the niche. That's, that's so said. stupid. That's not what he that's said. That's not what happened. That's not what he said that's at all. That's not what I said, and that's not what happened. That's not what he said. The green and all still fills in the same blank that it always did. Sure. I'm not saying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, you kind of did, because you said that they got pushed up. They didn't get pushed up. Their morphology never changed. All right, an example. This isn't literal. <laughs> then what? We're just making shit up? What is this? This is the oh. Reptiles With yeah. Podcast. We'll see you next time. Cut the fucking yeah. thing. Yeah, <laughs> this is... This is <laughs>